So we have a vise right here, and right now it's sitting at 90 degrees perpendicular to the blade. So we're going to adjust that so it's sitting 45 degrees. So I'm going to rotate this till it lines up exactly with 45 degrees so that what would happen if we drilled your helicopter at a random dimension, like, uh, not dimension, a random angle, like 55 degrees or something, or 25? Yeah, it'd make a different slope, but what would you have to do when you drilled the bottom side? Yeah, you have to do the same thing otherwise. So if you just set it at 45, you're going to get that exact same angle either way, so hopefully it'll work out better for you. So we have two different angled vices. So we're going to, notice how these jaws are really small and these have an extension on them to make them really big. I would set it up for your helicopter the same way. So if you have the small helicopter, you can do either one. If you have the big helicopter, which is that one right there, the one with the engine mount, I would stick with this one. In fact, you have to do this one because it won't fit in there all the way. So since we have the small one, we can do either one. What I don't want you to do is really cramp down on the vise, clamp, cramp, whatever, um, because you can damage it, especially with this one right here. It has metal jaws on there, and if you clamp really tight, it can make an imprint that you have to sand out. So you want to snug it up, but it doesn't need to be ridiculous. So we're going to put it in here and we need to level it up. Okay, it's set up at 45 degrees. What would happen if I put this in here and I clamped it like at this angle? That means when the drill comes down, it's gonna drill like three inches over here and only an inch over here. What would happen? means, yeah, that the leg's going to go in really deep on the back side, so it's going to sit like this. Your helicopter will sit like that after it's drilled, which if you like that low rider or wheelie kind of look, it's different. So we want to set this in here upside down so it's mostly level. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put it in the jaws of death. And I'm going to clamp it down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see how this is mostly parallel from here to here? It's mostly parallel. So the top of the jaws will match mostly here. It doesn't have to be critical that they line up, but it does have to be critical that they're exact same when I flip it around and drill the other side. So I'm gonna drill these two holes first, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna flip it around, I'm gonna drill the other two holes. So how would I make sure that these two line up exactly when I turn this whole thing around? Good, that's excellent, that's what I was thinking. So we're gonna take a pencil that I got thrown at me and we're going to do a small pencil line right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just did a small pencil line right there across the top. Once I have that small pencil line, now when I unclamp this, can I line it back up in the exact same spot again? Or same horizontal? Yeah. So now we're, we've got it set that way. Now I want to drill into here exactly an inch. So I'm going to set my gauge. This is where some of you are going to have to do a little bit more work than last time because you can't just come over here and drill anymore. You actually have to set your depth. So I'm going to come over here and touch right where it needs to go in. Once I've touched right there, how much farther do I need to go? One inch. So now I'm going to read my gauge and I'm at seven eighths. So how deep do I want to go into? One and seven eighths. So I'm going to spin this stop, the height stop, and I'm going to set the bottom of the height stop at what? One and seven eighths. Okay, so now we're set. So if I move this out of the way, it's going to go one inch past where it's touching. 
So if I bring it down, it touches right there at 7 eighths, and I move that out of the way, and it drills another inch. So when you come over here, whatever the measurement reads, when you touch it, bring it down, touches it. If it says 3 fourths, what do I set the gauge to? 1 and 3 fourths. 1 and 3 fourths. Thank you. So now I'm going to drill it. I have a bit on here. Does anybody remember what this kind of bit was called? Spade bit. It's got a little spade looking shovel on the end of it. And it has a little tip that's going to go right into where I drill. Now if I took a center punch, if I took a nail and I tapped it, odds are it will center a little bit better. I don't have a hammer and a nail so we're just going to go for it. Here's the key. When you start, you need to start really slow. Because what happens if that bit wanders is it will wander all the way down your project before it actually ends up going in. And then when you sit your helicopter down, it's going to sit to one side or the other and it's going to rock a little bit. And not like it rocks in a good sense, but like it rocks in a bad sense. So I'm going to set this up. I get it lined up exactly. And then I come up and I turn it on. And then I do what? Well, odds are it's going to vibrate just a little bit. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to come down here and grab the vise and then I'm slowly going to come down and I'm going to make sure it's still lined up. And if it is, then I'm going to slowly go in. Once it's in, then I go the rest of the way. Good. So it moved quite a bit. So now I'm going to bring it down until it just goes in right where her mark is. Notice how long it's taking me to drill into that. I'm not going super fast. If it sends up some smoke signals, that's all right. Now, once the drill bit has started in the center, the rest will pretty much follow. Like that smoke signal. Then I'm going to drill, come over here, and I'm going to drill right there, same place. And then I loosen up and I throw my helicopter around and I line up that pencil line with a jaw underneath, make sure it's exactly sitting the same angle, and then I drill the two on the top. I don't have to adjust this again. Once I've adjusted it once for my helicopter, it's set for the rest of them. Here's what might go happen. Here's what might go wrong though. Here's what might happen is if I come down here and I drill here, what's gonna go wrong? Yeah, it's just gonna come out the bottom side going to look, and it does happen every year somebody decides to go right out the bottom side. So, yeah, it, it looks like it just went through Vietnam. 